DX Crash one here once again, and today I have a very special gavel for you guys. Plug that. So I bought this about a uh, last week, this yabo, and um, came all the way from good old Paris, France. Well, not Paris. Well, not Paris, but. Uh, Came from France, and um, I was expecting this to come next week, but it came early. Today of all days, um, it's my birthday, and it came just in time. Now, this is going to be the greatest Diablo ever, because what I purchased here is an exclusive item. Very exclusive items. So I've cut open the box. I haven't pulled out what's inside. But anyway, this cost me 100 euros. Which, uh, according to eBay, it said that it translated to um, $110. I got some French balled up newspaper. I like doing this. Just take a look. Show you guys that I'm online. Cell flash. That is in French. Oh, they all come individually back. All right. So, let's show you guys what I got here. Because this is a great Yabo. So, I bought a box of Dunhills. So, there's five Dunhill pipes in here. And um, some of these need a little bit of work to them. But overall, with the exception of one, they're all in pretty good shape. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Here we have a Dunhill root briar in the pickaxe shape. This is a, um, I have my notes here on the side, from the seller. This is a 1975 Dunhill uh, 270 to 272 root briar pipe. 272 root briar. 4R. This one is missing the uh, stem. So uh, I'm going to need to get a, get this sent out, maybe get a replacement stem for it. The next pipe, this is a uh, 1969, put the stem on here. This is a 1969, well, what does that say? Uh, 39, 39, uh, FT shell briar is this pipe. This one um, has the fish tail, and it does. Uh, it's in pretty good condition, with the exception that there is a chunk here. There's a there's a chip here on the side of the bowl. But uh, other than that, this one seems to be in pretty good shape, also. So I. I think we just fill in that. Just get a slice of piece of briar and fill in that chip. Okay, that was the 69. Next we have a 19. What is that? 1977. This is a 1977 Dunhill shell in an apple shape. This pipe is actually in pretty good condition. Unfortunately, the stem has snapped. The bowl itself is actually in extremely good condition. Look at how clean that is from the inside. And then this pipe has not been reamed from what I see. Because it does have a cake inside of it. It's a very thin cake, but the bowl is in extremely phenomenal condition. The next pipe is a, um, okay, so this pipe that I just showed was a 1977, 1977, sorry, it was the last pipe I showed. This one that I have here is the 1975. This is a 1975 Dunhill Zulu. This is a beautiful pipe. This one is probably the one in the 
pretty best condition. However, the problem with this pipe is that the tenon has broken off and it has been glued back in. So the tenon broke off on this pipe and it has been repaired. But so this one also seems to have been lightly smoked also. The inside is pretty clean. And it has not been reamed also, so it has a keg inside, but it's very good. Now the last one that I'm going to show is the oldest one of the lot. But it's uh, probably the one in the worst condition. This is a 1965 Dunhill Canadian Shell Briar. This is a um, 3C with the star. And this one, unfortunately, has a broken bowl. It's missing some. It's missing pieces to the bowl, and um, <clears throat> looking at it now, it's no wonder why there's an extremely thick cake inside of this one. So whoever previous owner, this was the one. This was their favorite until it snapped. But um, otherwise, the stem is in good condition, and I think I will do a video. Thinking about, I'm thinking about how I'm going to repair this. So until then, you know, this would this is a beautiful pipe though. It would have been a beautiful pipe if it was intact. But um, you know, I'm a pretty smart guy. I can figure something out. So that is my birthday yabo for 2016. So um, probably the one so. The other ones are pretty good. One of them needs a stem. Well, two of them need stems replaced. The one with the broken tendon, I think I'm going to uh, leave it as is till that gives out. And then I have these two to work on with the chipped bowl and the broken bowl. Oh, sorry, I don't know why I put this one back in the back. With the chipped bowl and the broken bowl, these two are the ones I'm going to have to work on. And these are the oldest ones, 69 and 65.